so many sayings and whoever they are say if at first you don't succeed try try again I hear two tries I'm gonna take it up a notch and add a third try and on top of that they always say they third time is a charm guess who's back Zobenikofia Umbertiana is doing great but let me show you let's check the extension of the leaf look where that root tip is going right it's curling up tisk 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 and the new root that's coming out the side here is doing great it has a tendency to go down well I'm not bumping this Zobinikofia up anymore I'm gonna give it an orchid top my young gray coids are doing great in orchid top let's give it a go on this one and then if the roots choose to climb out and up and around the prongs so be it orchid top a go go in the back I have my Renanthera monachica also going in an orchid top so let's take care of Zobenikofia umbertiana take three <laughs> seeing as that's not the complicated one the monachica could be a little bit more complicated oh and look my recycled ceramics from those nasty seedling pots if you haven't seen the videos woo, they were covered in moss but here we are we still have you know little marks and stuff on some of the clay but really from what it was before this is a 360 turnaround improvement so I'm going to be using that it was soaked in bleach in a bleach solution to sterilize it rinsed and rinsed set to a boil once it boiled I took a strainer and skimmed off everything that was coming off organically from the top kept stirring and skimming you know like clarifying a soup as you do but with ceramics instead of beef <laughs> all right let's have a look so many coffee I hope to get you doing like what you want and what I want so let's let's see if we can find a happy medium I'm just loving that the roots are doing so well so that you know that's just like gives me peace of mind because look we're having some issues here with the brown spotting on the root here to the left and that could be fertilizer burn too much humidity it's trying to escape so I'm going to give it its best chance of escape but still get the moisture around the roots that I want it to have I'm going to do a hundred percent ceramics let's see that I haven't misjudged that a little bit And they say they less is more right so let's do that all right I'm gonna put my name tag in here now that I know who she is I'll never forget that again the white bits you see are seashells quite a few years ago I boiled seashells and added them to my ceramics Now I can say that I know where the root is because I know this leaf 
but I want to know where the root tip is. So this is a marker where the root tip originally was, and then I'll see if it goes down or comes climbing up the tag. That's all there is to it. This is now just plain RO water. And as my ceramis is drying out, I'm giving it a good, good soak so that nowhere is there a dry spot as I do not want any desiccation going on whatsoever. And you can see that the plate has now filled up and that's perfect because the ceramis can now take care of the wicking. And then just to top it off, to keep the top really moist, I'm going to add lava rock across the top. In future, any mineral buildup that I will encounter, because I do spray this one in the summer profusely from the top, I can always pick the lava rock off, but I'm protecting it and protecting the ceramics on the bottom. Should I be so lucky to have any further root growth from the top, lava rock comes off as well. In the meantime, I'm just happy if these roots can now establish themselves. If they choose to come out the side, at least I know I have an environment now where they should do really, really well. Unless now the third time it's saying, oh, okay, enough already, I'm done, I'm out of here. But let's hope not. Let's see if Renanthera monachica comes out easily. She's been doing quite well. I have had her in the bowl of water like eight hours a day and then out at night. I mean, she's perked up. She isn't that scrawny little thing that we saw when it came out of the box. I had a branching starting here, which is awesome. So I hope that, that hasn't stopped. But you can see that the long root here is totally compromised and it's going squishy. So I'm gonna cut that off. This one's still okay, even though it's got a crack. I won't be too radical with her. Oh yes, and just another little pointer. This label from since when I made it has been floating in this bowl all the time, except when I changed the water. So if there's any doubts whether you would want to invest into labels from Dymo Label Maker, then this, I, I, I think these are super convincing. Much, much prefer them. Now, am I concerned? Yes. Am I going to do it anyway? Yes. Is this mount better than my orchid top? No. Are there more Mona Chicas out there? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to come off easily? Probably not. <laughs> Are we going to do it anyway? Yes. We are. Super sharp knife. I can see a new root nubbin coming out the other side. I'll show you just now. Boop! We got one off. Woohoo! That's 50% of freedom, little one. Let's go. You. Oh, so that's what they did. They made a sphagnum moss cork bark sandwich. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. That, I've never seen that before. Thank you.
and see that we both come out of this unscathed with this sharp knife. Either the root or my finger or both. <laughs> but we got it. We did it. Freedom. Woohoo. Little freedom. And that's all there is to it. I'm not going to mess about anymore. Let's have a look. Look at this. We've got a root nubbin coming out. And we have another one coming out here, but it has stopped. And this is the branching, so there's hope. And same procedure as with my Zobinikofia, with the exception of, I'm gonna see that I can put the roots all the way down, because this is another great property of Orky Top, is that as a semi-hydro function, they, they say, and this is the company Orky Top, that you, if you have roots long enough, you leave them all the way down before putting any substrate in and then fill up with substrate around the rest. So that's what we're going to do. I also want her to correct her growth habit, you know, poor little thing. Just want to raise her up a bit so I can fit a bit of lava rock around the base. There we go. Same thing as the Zobenikofia. Lots and lots and lots of hydration into the ceramics. And in future, I can just water her from below. So just to qualify why the lava rock, in the summer it leaves, it retains the moisture in the ceramics for much longer, less spraying. In the winter, I can take it off in order to protect the stem from too much moisture retention because at no point do I want the ceramics to dry out. So the lava rock is my little go-to thing with regards to orky top and ceramics. Just to help me in the summer. In my preferred setup, my absolute preferred setup with Lekka, the other one went downhill even though that she bloomed for me and I couldn't determine what the problem was. So normally when I have an orchid that I cannot determine what the problem is and it dies on me, I do not replace it, but I, I do want a Monochica in my collection, I really do. Right, it's just one little detail. I'm going to cut a microfiber strip in half. This way when I water from the top, I water the strip it gives me access, it gives me like a target. And then if some water does splash, it's not that big a deal in the summer. But there we are. Fingers crossed, the Mona Chica will settle in nicely. And fingers crossed, Zobenikofia Humbertiana forgives me for a third touching of the feet in a very, very short period of time. But there we go. Any questions? <laughs> there is, I think sometimes there is method to my madness, but only time will tell. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really appreciate having your company. I would be talking to my head or cousin it if it wasn't for you. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, everybody. Bye.